Hello, my name is Andrea Hidano, and I would like to take the next few minutes to share about my project, Tracing the Exotic, Views of Hawaii's Women Past and Present. 18th century imperialist accounts describing Pacific women became the foundation of the Pacific news stereotype. Inspired writers and artists ventured into the Pacific to fulfill their own appetites for the Pacific muse, and their works maintained the stereotype, though colonialism had changed native practices. Europeans on the home front ate up these representations of exotic women. A few decades later, American cinema had a new fad, Pacific-based productions and Holynesian actresses. After this brief historical background, you may be wondering, what is the Pacific Muse? The Pacific Muse is an idealized, exotic, young, sexual, native woman with long, dark hair and brown skin. Accounts and drawings oftentimes portray her as bare-chested and dancing, gyrating her hips in sexually alluring ways. She is naive and innocent, and so attracted to European men who provide knowledge and civilization. For those who have been naturalized in Hawaii, or who are knowledgeable of the state's ethnic history, the Pacific Muse is not exactly what a woman from Hawaii looks like. Hawaii is home to a mélange of ethnicities, and the people of Hawaii are physical representations of that. After the initial hump of racism, Hawaii has recognized beauty in multi-ethnic women, some of whom are not even Hawaiian. Thus, we face a division of what beautiful women from Hawaii look like, the Pacific Muse, and the ethnically mixed woman. In other words, Hawaiian women are hot, and women from Hawaii are hot. The objective of my project is to trace these two lines of beauty, from Hawaii's perspective and from mainland America's perspective. I want to look at how and why the people of Hawaii broadened their view of beauty and when the division took place. To conduct this research, I will first study Hawaii's demographic changes. Then I will use social, psychological, and biological works about ethnic mixing to create a theoretical framework. After compiling that research, I will analyze photographs of Hawaii's women in Paradise of the Pacific and Honolulu magazines to track changes in physical appearance and how the magazines describe the women. My research thus far has traced Hawaii's acknowledgement of multi-ethnic women. Early editions of Paradise of the Pacific showed Pacific Muse-type women, but soon displayed women that better represented Hawaii's multi-ethnic population. Some of the later pictures also included the women's ethnic background in the picture descriptions. I have also done some research on the University of Hawaii's beauty pageant that crowned multiple winners who represented different ethnic categories. Again, my name is Andrew Hidano, and I will be researching upon tracing the exotic views of Hawaii's women past and present. Thank you for your time.